Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and I share beauty and lifestyle videos, so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. But today I'm going to be showing y'all how I got this look using makeup from Walmart. So if y'all want to see how I got it, then just keep watching. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. I have been loving tinted moisturizers lately and this has become a new favorite. I just wish I could find my right color. As you can see, I am blending two different ones together because the first one I got is too light for me now and then the second one was way too orange, but I'm making it work. If y'all do want to learn a little bit more about this product, I did do a first impressions video. If y'all want to check it out next, I will link it down below in the description box. The two products I'm using for my under eyes is not from Walmart. I'm starting off with the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. It has a peachy tone to it to help with the darkness and this corrects and counteracts the darkness where concealer just covers it up. But since it does have a tint, you do want to use concealer. And for my concealer today, I'm using my tried and true Shape Tape. Okay, I lied. My setting powder isn't from the drugstore either. I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm honestly a little bit picky with my setting powder, so I haven't really found a drugstore one that I like. So if you have a favorite drugstore setting powder, comment it down below and I will try it out. So the first thing I'm going to try from my Walmart makeup is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. So of course you can get Wet n Wild other places besides Walmart, but that's just where I got this. And I don't know, I haven't tried any of Wet n Wild's setting powders and I've been loving banana powders underneath my eyes because as you can see, even with concealer, it covered up the darkness, but you can still see the bags. So it is a loose powder. I don't know that I've used a loose banana powder. I didn't use a whole lot because I wanted to see how it was. And you don't want to use a whole lot of powder underneath your eyes because that's when it starts getting cakey. Okay, so I did use too much of it, but so far I'm not crazy about it. I actually like the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder better than this one, but I am going to give it another try and use less product. Plus, this foundation is the wrong color. I'm having to mix two different ones, so I also think that's throwing me off, so I'm definitely going to give it another try. For bronzer, I'm using the Milani Baked Bronzer, and I think I got mine at Ulta, but they do have it at Walmart. And then another drugstore bronzer that I really like is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So the next product from Walmart I'm going to be trying out is a blush and highlighter combo. Obviously, I'm just going to use one of them. Probably this one because it's kind of what stood out to me in store first. But I liked them both, so I just went ahead and got both. So I will use the other one in my next video. But I think this is so pretty. It is the shade Flash Me. <laughs> But I don't feel like it's really showing the true color. It's a little bit more pink. And then the blush does have a little bit of shimmer in it. And then here is the other one. It is a brighter coral than is showing up on camera as well. And this one is called I Met Someone. And these are called the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. So I really liked that it was two in one. And I'm wanting to say they were just like five or six dollars, but I will list and link everything I use down below in the description box if y'all want to check any of this out for yourself. I just put a little bit because I didn't know how pigmented it was. And with bright pinks, you have to be careful. Oh, that is really pretty. Okay, so I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that, but there is a little bit more glitter than I thought, but I still think it is really pretty. Okay, yeah, I feel like y'all can see more on this side how glittery it is, and normally I'm not a glitter fan. I like more of a shimmer. But this is really pretty. So after I apply my blush, I usually take a stippling brush to kind of go over it, blend it in with my bronzer, and just tone it down if I added too much. 
And now for the highlighter. So this highlighter actually does look pretty glittery, but I am going to use it anyways because it looks really pretty. And I think it's going to be pretty. Ooh, look at that. Look at that glow. For my brows, I'm using the Milani Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint, which is one of the brow pins. I really like this, and I think it makes your eyebrows look really natural and kind of microbladed. This is another product. I think I got it at Ulta, but my Walmart had a lot of Milani products, so I'm sure you can get it there as well. Okay, so I think I am most excited about this next product, and it is this really pretty palette by Profusion Cosmetics. I honestly have never heard of this brand before, but this palette caught my eye mainly because of this color right here. So I think I'm going to do a pink look. I really want to try this out because there is a shade almost identical in my Anastasia Norvina Volume 4 palette. And this one is pretty pricey. So that one right there, I've used it in a tutorial before. So if that is the same and look how similar these look i mean this one does have some brighter pinks but like the neutrals look the same or look close and this was ten dollars and then they had several others and there was one that had a bunch of warm tones that looked very similar to the morphe 350 palette which morphe palettes are just around 23 25 dollars but I mean, if you can get a palette that is just as good for $10. So hopefully it is pigmented and hopefully it blends out really well. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, which is just a nude color. And I'm gonna place it all over my lid just as a base. So whenever you do a base shade, it just helps to even out your eyelids. And it also helps your other shadows blend a little bit better. So next, I think I'm going to try this shade for my transition color. I'll see how it looks and how pigmented it is. That is a good trans transition color. I'm just starting off with a little bit because I always like to build it because it's easier to build than to take away. So I always like to start off with a little bit of product and then just add to it until it's as dark as I want, but especially with new eyeshadows that I don't know how pigmented they are. And then when I get it as dark as I want, I will take a clean fluffy brush and go over the edges so there are no harsh lines. I like everything to be nice and blended. This also helps if you get it a little bit too dark you can go over the actual shadow, but I like how dark it is. So I'm just going over the very edge. That way it just diffuses the edge. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so next I'm gonna try this shade right here. It's kind of a mauve color. That's what I'm gonna use for my transition. And this did come with a brush. So I'm gonna use this for my crease and see how the brush does. I might end up using one of mine, we'll see. I don't know, I guess they're kind of the same. So I'm gonna keep using this one. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can tell, but here is my natural crease and I have to put my crease shade right above my natural crease and then I kind of push it in my crease as well because I have hooded eyes and that means it kind of hangs over so when I relax and look forward you can't see my natural crease so I have to kind of create my own so I'm going to go in with that same shade and put it on my lower lash line and then buff that out as well 
So normally I use a black eyeliner to line my lower waterline, but lately I've been using a nude liner. I've really been liking that lately, but whenever I get more lash extensions, I might start back with the black See, I just feel like that makes you look more awake and just really brightens up your eyes. And I personally like a nude versus a white. I feel like white is just too bold and too bright, but to each their own. So now for the fun part, I'm going to try that pink color. And since it is like a pressed shadow i am going to use my finger because i have found that's what makes that's what works best and i don't think it's going to disappoint look at that that looks so pretty and my friend whitney she's the one who did it is probably not going to like me because this is probably getting glitter in my extensions but hopefully i can clean them really good oh my gosh y'all look at that oh my gosh and to be honest with y'all I did not even realize glitter and extensions until just that second when I was talking about it I was just excited and I had planned on doing this before I told her she could practice, but I'm going to try and clean them good tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, Whitney. Okay, so I am going to try a brush to try and get the inner corners because it's hard to get with my nails. And it's actually not bad with a brush. I probably wouldn't do the whole lid with a brush, but if you need to do it with for the inner corner. I'm going to swatch these side by side. Okay, so this one is the Anastasia and this one is the Walmart palette. So the Anastasia one looks a little bit more of like a purple, purpley pink. And honestly, I had to add more product to the Anastasia one than this one. There's probably more product versus this one. So I'm actually pretty impressed. Okay, so I'm going to go back and add a little bit higher and add a little bit more to my crease color. So that brush that came with the palette actually isn't that bad. Since I'm already going to have to clean glitter off my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara. Okay, and then I did get a lipstick at Walmart. It is by Milani, and this is the shade Matte Beauty, which is a really pretty nude. You can see glitter all over my hand. And I think it'll go really well with this look. Had some chapstick. Right now, glitter all over my lips. <sighs> okay, it is not my favorite. It's a little more brown than I thought. This will actually actually be a really good fall color but I don't really love it with this look. So I'm actually going to add a lipstick on top and it is by NYX. So it's still drugstore, but I didn't get it at Walmart. So it's just a pretty nude color, but it is too nude for me to wear it by itself. So I love it on top of lipstick and it's actually perfect on top of this one because now it goes great with this eye look. So I actually really love this combo. So that is my little trick if a lipstick is too dark 
or if it's like this one was a little bit too brown for me this one is like a pinky nude so I just put that on top so you can do that with any lipstick so if you get a lipstick that is too light for you by itself keep it and play around with other lipsticks so here is the completed look. I actually love how it turned out. I am pretty impressed with the eyeshadow palette. I might have to go back and get a couple others, but let me know down below in the comments if y'all want to see more looks using that palette. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial using my new Walmart makeup. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me, but I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.